Warning. Flat Earth Anomaly Detected. Loki Fish Mars to the Bridge. Transiting Wormhole to Flat Earth Anomaly. Exiting Wormhole. Flat Earth Anomaly Locked On. Firing Science Delivery System. Flat Earth Anomaly Successfully Neutralized. Greetings all, it's Loki Fish Mars with another adventure into the world of Flat Earth. Earth recently released a wonderful video. Let's take a look. We see here a harvest moon rising over the water. Not the best quality, but what it shows makes it a true gem. With this single video, it paints Flat Earth into a very nasty corner. Now I'm tired of standing on the bridge, so let's take a walk. So here's a frame grab showing the moon not even fully risen yet. Now, flatties will say sextants only work on a flat Earth, so let's run with that. Here we have a 45 degree circle of equal altitude for the moon. As this gives an infinite number of points of reference, it establishes a very specific point in three-dimensional space. Using this as a reference, and known distances on Earth, we can establish observer distance. From this, we can determine observer distance to the moon. This elevation angle will come in play later, but for now, let's talk about angular size and inverse square. So here's that frame grab again. According to perspective, it's way too big. So let's calculate for that. According to the angular size calculator, it should be about one third that size. So let's fix that. Now that's about right, but it's too bright. So let's see what inverse square has to say. Well, the inverse square calculator says it should be about 90% dimmer. So let's fix that. Well, it's still too small. Don't worry. The flat earth experts have an answer for that. And that answer is lensing. What they forgot was lensing is an inverse square as well. So back to the calculator. So the inverse square calculator says it should be about this bright with lensing. Hmm, that's pretty dim. But the fun doesn't stop there. Remember that 18.4 degrees? That would be the true refractive drop of the horizon on a flat Earth. How does this affect the way sextants work on a flat Earth? Well, it means that every single refractive offset table in all the almanacs are wrong. So now it's impossible to use well-established tables and guides to find your circle of equal altitude, GP, or even plot a course. So flat earthers have to update their model yet again. And of course are forever lost at sea on this spherical earth. Talking about updates, I need to go check something. Cool, the new software updates are in. What does this new uh, Mimas option do? We are not sure as it did not come with instructions, and tech support is on lunch break. <laughs> when has reading instructions ever done any good? Plus tech supports a three hour phone call I'm not willing to have. So let's say we give this a try. I would not advise that. Oh come on, what's the worst that could happen? See? Nothing happened. Whoa, um, if anybody asks, I was never here. I was in the lounge, uh, my bedroom, my office maybe, anywhere but here. Bye. If you would like to keep your planet from being invaded, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, this is Loki Fish Mars.